What's going on guys? My name is Jeff and this is Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 gobies for your reef tank. What's up guys, we're back with another video and if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, make sure you smash that subscribe button. So today we're going to be talking about the top 10 gobies for your reef tank. So let's jump into it. Alright guys, so this is live aquaria and all the photos from this video are from this website. So if you're looking to pick up some gobies or any other marine life check them out live aquaria uh they're not sponsoring this video just wanted to give credit where credit was due kicking the tires and lighting the fires with number 10 on our top 10 gobies for your reef tank is the green banded goby now this guy is considered easy to care for he is peaceful he has the colors of green red and black so he's a very interesting looking fish his diet consists of meat he is considered reef safe and grows up to two inches long and the minimum tank size on this guy is about 10 gallons so for you nano reef tank keepers out there this is definitely a great fish to consider for those smaller size tank really a lot of gobies are exceptionally good nano tank fish and he doesn't come with a high price point either he is reasonably priced so it is a great beginner fish he's easy to care for easy on the wallet and can go in just about any size saltwater tank coming in at number nine on our top 10 gobies for your reef tank is wheeler's shrimp goby this guy is also easy on the wallet he's considered easy to care for a peaceful goby and his diet consists mostly of meats they can grow up to three inches long and just like most gobies is going to do great in those smaller tanks minimum tank size on this guy 10 gallons very very interesting looking goby and for as far as coloration goes on this guy it's pretty stunning because you have that yellow belly into that pale white and then you have those bands very similar to the hyphen goby but has some amazing speckling dots on him so a beautiful goby coming in at number nine wheeler's shrimp goby coming in at number eight on our top 10 gobies for your reef tank is the green clown goby now clown gobies have a little bit of a wrap they have been known to pick at sbs corals now that's something that you need to take into consideration if you want a clown goby if you have the sbs corals i recommend that you stay away from them all that aside they're considered easy to care for peaceful in their temperament have a carnivore diet are considered reef safe and grow upwards to two inches long and don't require a whole lot of space they will fit in that 10 gallon tank so you nano tank owners are going to do just fine with the green clown goby which came in at number eight on our top 10 list coming in at number seven on our top 10 gobies for your reef tank is the neon goby this goby is considered easy to care for has a peaceful attitude is a carnivore considered reef safe grows upwards of two inches and requires a minimum tank size of 10 gallons a few fun facts about the neon goby they are often tank raised which is also a great feature about this fish commonly breeding in fish tanks and also has been known to remove parasites from their tank mates so this is a great addition to any reef tank big or small looking at number seven on our top 10 list the neon goby coming in at number six on our top 10 gobies for your reef tank is the orange spotted goby this guy is an absolute stunner he has a very similar body structure to the yellow watchman goby he is considered easy to care for has a peaceful attitude prefers them meats he's considered reef safe grows upwards to three and a half inches and has a tank size requirement of 10 gallons this guy is interesting because 
a lot of the research that I've done on this fish shows that they have been known to buddy up with a pistol shrimp, but are considered a possible threat to some ornamental shrimp. He is an interesting creature nonetheless. So I would definitely do your research on this guy. If you want one, talk to your local fish store, see what they have to say about it, because there's a lot of conflicting information out there. Nonetheless, a very beautiful fish. Coming in at number five on our top 10 gobies for your reef tank is Hector's goby. Hector's has a goby. A goby is Hector's. Moving on. This fish is considered moderate care level. He has a peaceful temperament and is an omnivore. Hector's goby is omnivore. He is considered reef safe, grows upwards of three inches and requires a tank of 10 gallons or more. Full discretion, this is a fish that I have attempted to keep in the past. I had him in quarantine and he did not make it out of quarantine. He would not accept foods. He became very thin and then eventually died. Even though that I gave him the best opportunity, he didn't make it out of quarantine, which is really sad. But eventually, at some point, I may attempt to try to keep this fish again. He is absolutely stunning, has a lot of unique personality, and I'd like to eventually try to have one in a reef tank. Coming in at number four on our top 10 gobies for your reef tank is the orange stripe prawn goby. This guy carries a little bit of a price tag with him, even though that most gobies are relatively inexpensive. He is considered easy to care for, has a peaceful temperament, and considered a carnivore as well as being reef safe. They grow upwards of four and a half inches and require a minimum tank size of 20 gallons. Even though that he is a relatively large goby, he has a very sight orientated personality. He likes to dig them holes and they have been known to pair up with a pistol shrimp just fine. Absolutely beautiful fish with its white background with orange to gold bars and those black dots are just absolutely amazing. Beautiful fish, the orange stripe prawn goby. Coming in at number three on our top 10 gobies for your reef tank is the court jester goby. This fish is considered moderate care level, has a peaceful temperament, and has an omnivore diet. He is considered reef safe, grows upwards of 3 inches, and requires a minimum tank size of 20 gallons. The court jester goby is a very timid and peaceful fish that requires a ton of hiding spaces and a very established system. He is very picky about his food, and that's what makes him a moderate care level fish. So make sure you do your research before you pick yourself up. Number three on our top 10 gobies for your reef tank, the court jester goby. Coming in at number two on our top 10 gobies for your reef tank is the hyphen goby. He is considered moderate care level, has a peaceful temperament, needs them meats. He is considered reef safe and grows upwards of two inches and requires a minimum tank size of 10 gallons. This is a fish that I have kept in the past with a pistol shrimp and unfortunately he jumped out of the tank which was pretty devastating. The unfortunate part about that is I also had a pistol shrimp and the pistol shrimp for some odd reason did not live very long after the goby had perished. Not that there was anything in the tank that would actually attack the pistol shrimp but not long after I lost the hyphen goby, I lost the pistol shrimp. Coming in at number one on my top 10 gobies for your reef tank is the yellow watchman goby. Hands down, one of my most favorite gobies out there. I don't think a reef tank is a reef tank without old grumpy face. They are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament, need them meats, are considered reef safe, grow upwards of four inches, and when they get big, they get even grumpier looking, and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. They're an extremely beautiful fish. They have that beautiful bright yellow base with those light baby blue dots throughout their body, and they have a ton of personality. That's what makes them 
one of the most interesting fish to keep in this hobby. And that's why they are number one on our top 10 gobies for your reef tank, the yellow Watchman Gobi. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the thumbs up. That's it for today. But don't worry, there's plenty more Mad Hatter Reef videos to go around.